Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bull Talk by Joe podcast. This is another podcast exploration video, and uh, I wanted to do things a little bit different. If you've been following me or listening to my podcast, you understand that uh, I'm trying to combine my podcast slash into a video, kind of like YouTube, but have a podcast. Go to the location, set up camera there and actually have a podcast there and talk about, you know, what I talk about usually society and culture and a little bit of the history and what we're looking at. For the longest time, I was driving. I live out in the middle of nowhere in Arizona. And for the longest time, I used to drive by this. Uh, when I went hunting, I'll drive through this location and I'll go by this mountain, this this piece of mass of, of, of land mass that's in the middle of the desert. And all the way to the top, there was this shiny rock like this big huge rock that looked like a teepee like a tomb i don't know what it was so i'll just drive by it i i never really i never really stopped and looked at it and i just every time i drove by it i, I try to look up and i'm like what is that right until it started until it started with the podcast i i started paying a little bit more attention and since we wanted to do this podcast as kind of an exploration type podcast and also have it here for YouTube, right? So everybody can see this cool stuff. Uh, I was with my cameraman and I'm like, hey, let's go out there and, and check this out. I found this this thing that's on top of this mountain and I don't know what it was. And we're like, well, let's go out and look at it. We didn't know if it was native land. We didn't know if it was private property. We didn't know anything. So we took the drone with us and and so we can try to record, so we can try to film this uh this thing that was on top of this hill. So we, after 30 minutes or so, we ended up finding the hill because I couldn't remember where it was, right? Because like I said, this is in the middle of nowhere, okay? It's not like it's in the city and you can just walk to it. This is out in the middle of nowhere in this mountain, and uh, which is weird that they would have something like that there, right? But we, uh, we went out there, we found it, and uh, we were like, what the heck is that? So we had no way to get in there. We didn't know, right? We didn't know what, how to get, get, how to get up there. It's just in the middle of the desert. There's, there's railroad tracks and all kinds of stuff there. And we were like, how do you even get up there? We can't even drive up there. This thing is like really high. So we sent the drone out there. It was really windy. And we're like, well, let's just send the drone out there and see what we can capture and see what this, see if we can get close to this, uh, to this tomb or this thing that looks like a tomb. So we sent the drone out there, and like I said, it was really windy, and we finally got up close to it, and uh, this this the peak of the mountain is 1,700 feet, right? So we're like, let's see if the drone can make it, because we were way out in the middle of nowhere, and we were by the road. So we sent the drone out there. After a few tries, we decided to go for it, and we're, we, just, we just didn't want to lose our drone. And we sent them out there and we captured some great images and we actually saw what it was. And it was a tomb, which we were super surprised. And I'll tell you a little bit about it because this is something new to me. And I've been here for a long time and I had no idea who this person was or what this place was. Right. So basically, this is a kind of like a memorial. It's a monument, a roadside monument for this man. His name is Charles Debril Poston. Okay, he was born in 1825 and passed away in 1902. He was named he was he was uh he was known as the father of Arizona. Uh by he successfully argued for Arizona territory separate from the territory of New Mexico and in 1864 he was elected the new territory's first delegate of the U.S. House of Representatives. Who would have thought? We had no idea what the heck we were looking at. We were like, who is Charles D. Poston? We were looking at the at, at the we were looking at the drone uh, image and we we're like, what is this? Who is this guy? So we uh, we flew the drone around and we captured some beautiful image that you guys are going to be able to see, obviously as I talk and uh, we came back down, we brought the drone back and there was people up there and we're like, what the heck? There's people up there. They're probably looking for the drone. So we freaked out and we put everything back in the truck and we took off. Our goal is to get up there and actually record uh, the episode there, right? Just have a regular episode with a beautiful background and something in the back, something with history. And uh, we just didn't know that we could get up there. So after coming back home, we figured out that you can actually hike up there, that it's that is not private property. You can actually go out there and hike and go all the way to the top of the monument and uh, 1700 feet. Um, I don't know how long it would take to hike up there, 
but uh, apparently you can hike. And I just gave you a little bit of the history of this man uh, that uh, that they have this monument out in the middle of nowhere, right? This, which is this is what's weird to me. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of nowhere. Unless you're looking for it, or unless you know, or this is what you do for a living, you have no idea that this exists out in the middle of nowhere, of Florence, Arizona. It's crazy. But we had the pleasure of uh, finally getting up close to it. And now that we know that we can go up there and hike, we're going to go uh, do the show up there. And we'll have a part two of this episode. But it was really, really, really cool. Um, just some some of these things that you don't know, right? Some of these people that are, are part of history that have changed things and that have uh, that they have an image and they fight for things and they they uh, they put all their time and the effort into into getting to their goal right in life and and that's what this man did. Um, he was from Elizabethtown, uh, Kentucky, and uh, he came out here to to Arizona. It's pretty cool, man. The history you should go and check it out. Check out the history. It's it's one of those rare things that you don't really get to see every day. It's one of those things where I mean, it was basically 20 minutes for me. Well, it's like 25 minutes from where I live, and I had no idea that this was an actual tomb, and and that this man was called the father of Arizona. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Um, so this is our first exploration slash podcast episode. Um, I was gonna have a really cool one, but they knocked these things down. So basically, what I was gonna do is. Uh, there is there was these buildings out in Casa Grande, Arizona that were out in the middle of nowhere. They built these weird looking buildings kind of for I think they were for storage for a computer for computer chips. Uh, there was a company in California and they built them out here a long time ago in the 80s. And it was to store parts and build chips or something like that out here. And they were made out of like foam slash concrete. And they just left them, right? They they kind of went bankrupt and they lost everything. And there's those buildings just stayed there. And uh, they were called the domes out here in Casa Grande, Arizona. And they were known people that would know about them. There was, I guess there were satanic rituals and there was paranormal activity. I believe like ghost hunters was there and all kinds of people were like, go in there and spend the night and, and, and they'll talk to ghosts or paranormal, just all kinds of activity there. Right. And like I said, after all the research, I found out that people will do uh, satanic rituals in there and the place was full of graffiti. It was it's just abandoned, but it was private property. So you just couldn't go in there because you'll get arrested. And we were going to go in there, take the drone in there, fly it in there and just go in there anyways and not go inside the actual place. But it's kind of a little bit weird and scary, but we were going to record outside of it and give you a little bit of history and just have a normal show. But they knocked them down like a couple weeks ago, so we weren't able to go out there. It was super sad. The day that we were going to go out there, we found out that they were knocked down. So it sucked. Uh, I'm sure if you look it up, there's some videos on YouTube and there's pictures about these domes in Casa Grande, Arizona. It was, it, they were pretty cool. One of them, the office, it was like a, like a space like a saucer like a like a ufo kind of thing that they were going to have the offices in but they never finished them so there was just a bunch of weird stuff going on in there and parties and just weird things there's tunnels in there i mean it's really interesting all the stuff that's uh that you don't know about that's in the middle of nowhere and i didn't even know those things existed either i just happened to google places where i can go do my podcast and i was like what the heck is these domes so it was pretty cool um, like I said, it was just some of those things that you have no idea they exist. They're all around us and they have a lot of history. There's a lot of weird stuff that that happens. There's a lot of stuff that you find out that you're like, holy crap, this is kind of scary. But at the same time, it's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you click subscribe. Until next time, peace.